What? You got one? What'd you get? So it's been a while since we've been out fishing. Uh, decided to come out this morning. We we'll take a little time casting out, seeing if we can get some of these either pre-spawn or spawning bass. Uh, we're gonna be throwing all over this different lake system and see if we can catch any fish. So follow along and let's see what we can catch. So I'm starting the day out with a, it's called a Berkeley War Pig Junior, kind of a bluegill perch pattern. Um, caught a good size crappie, like a 14 inch crappie on this the last time. So uh, I'm gonna throw this along, kind of drag it along the shoreline, uh, maybe about eight to 10 feet out. I can see a bunch of bluegill already in the water right in front of me. Um, let's see if we can see anything. Oop, there's a big, is that a carp that just came up? I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Come here, bluegilly. All right, we're gonna switch over to a little mule jig with a donkey tail. We got some ultralight. Just gonna set up here. Whoa. What? You got one? What'd you get? <laughs> Let's see. He got gotcha. you. <laughs> it's close to shore. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. 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 Got we got him in the mouth. Yeah, I got him in the mouth, but I also. Then got he him snagged him. him. Yeah. No left or in the. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Watch those trebles. Yeah, Yay! I don't like trebles. You caught a fish. I caught one. It's been so long. <laughs> it's been so long. It's been so long. Not very impressive, but <laughs> it's something. Yeah. That's all that matters. Good job, Josh. Thank you. We're out to a different section. We got a little more room to cast over here. The shoreline isn't covered by trees, so. And a bit more flats. Hey. He caught a fish? No. Woo, baby. On your net rig? Spinner. Oh, dude. Is that, that's like five inches long. Not bad. <laughs> Come on, stand up. There you go. See? Oh, man. Yeah, along the shore with a uh, net rig. Yeah. All right, going with a little more of my ultralight setup. Got to lose laser. Light speed stick reel. Ooh, maybe got something. Well, they were snagging the bottom. Who knows? And I've got a Bass Pro Shops Graphite Series um, ultralight rod. Just trying to pick up some budget equipment to see, um, you know, see how this feels. I just got to find a good sensitive ultralight because a lot of the ones that I've been testing on the low price range have been very um, noodly, very floppy. I'd like something with a little bit more sensitivity. So if you have any recommendations, throw a recommendation in the comments for a sensitive ultralight rod about six foot with uh, good sensitivity, but not so noodly. Got one. Woo! <laughs> I've got my two pound test. Oh! 
he's a nice size one, Josh. Woo! Oh, he's running. I gotta be careful because I do not. This line is light. Josh! <laughs> well, there he is. Let's see if I can grab this thing. He's got, like I said, he's got on two pound test. Woo! <laughs> That's a good sized fish. A little bit bigger than mine. Yeah. On that donkey tail. Dang. Mule jig uh, donkey tail. That is black. Good. Wow. All right. That's one of your biggest ones. Yeah, probably. 2.54. Let's look. 2.54. That's not bad. Two and a half pounder. Yeah, that's probably one of my bigger fish. Yeah, about 18 19 inch bass good size still fat i don't know if they've spawned yet this might be a female i think it had some it's a bed over there let's let this thing go there you go swimming away still think they're pre-spawned because this water is relatively cold Whew! that was nice now we had some luck there with that donkey tail. Not sure if that was a... I don't think that was on a bed because I don't think that one had laid yet. I think there's a female. Some eggs. We got another one. This one's a little bit smaller. Oh, he came off. Oh, he broke me off, maybe. Let's see. Yep, totally broke me off. Ah. Oh, I think I got one. Little one. He's jumping like crazy. Let's get this thing down. Let that dead stick again. Oop, had a follower, too. Oh, that donkey tail in black. This water's a little bit cloudy. And... Eh, he's about 8 inches. Maybe 9 if I'm lucky. Not too bad. Yeah, that thing, you know, just standing up. There's not any current, really. It's dead quiet. Hardly any wind. Um, so just slowly dragging this thing around. Let's see. Let's get them out. Here we go. Have fun, little one. There he goes. All right. Let's throw this thing back out there. Another one. Another one. Oh. You got to come over here. Another good size one. What? Big? Pretty big. <laughs> I didn't want my uh, Johnson screw it. It wasn't bothered by it. No. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> this line is so... Come on. Is that your ultralight? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Another good size one. I'm going to weigh this one up. 1.9 pounds. That's not too bad. Let's see how long this one is. 15, 16 inches, 16 inches. 16 inches, 1.9 pounds. Let's go put this boy back. Not bad. This one, not as fat as the other one and a lot shorter. The other one had a mouth almost twice the size of this one. But uh, let's put this thing in back in the water where we came from. Ready? There you go. Ah, she swims off good. It's so not a bad day. It's starting to warm up. Sun's coming out a little bit. We, uh, I ended up catching, I think, two. 
a two and a half pounder and a one and a half pound, no, 1.9 pounds. Uh, what about 18, 19 inches, 15, 16 on the other one. Got a few dinks, but uh, overall it was a good day. First time out, really, uh, doing any shore fishing this year. So uh, hopefully you like what you saw, caught some good fish, had a great day, and uh, hope you come back. Watch us again soon. Thanks.